Hey, welcome to developersinev.com, a community for young developers to grow your tech career. I'm Jorge Ferreiro, software developer and host of developersinev.com. This is the 360 interview with Albi Barber. 15 questions, 5 minutes, 360 degrees. Albi is an engineer manager at Dropbox and before that he was working at Eventbrite for more than 6 years. From senior engineer to engineer manager and even entrepreneur in residence. I traveled to New York City for this interview so hope you really like. That's all. Let's start. Um, so Albi, when did you start coding and why? Uh, I started building Lego and then there was a thing called Lego Mindstorms um, and that was a way to like you put Lego and then you do a little bit of code and you can make the camera follow you around or make a um, little robot and that's what got me into coding because a thing was doing a thing that I told it to do. How so old were I you? liked it. I was 12, wow. something like that. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. Um, so what is your favorite uh, programming book? So it's not really a programming book, it's more of a leadership book. And um, there's a leadership book called um, Leadership and Self-Deception. And it's how you approach problems and how you can bring your own bias to those situations. Um, and it literally changed my life. Wow. Um, it just, um, I just found I was a better, better person at home and at work after reading that or listening to it. Wow, I'm, I'm gonna put the book right. Yeah, here. put it there. Oh, poor. <laughs> <laughs> put it in my face. <laughs> uh, so what are your favorite programming languages? Programming languages? Um, I really like CSS. CSS is my, and it is a programming language. Um, and I like SAS script, which is like a, like a SAS programming language because it's so limited to do anything. You have to like, jump through different things and really know what you're doing in order to do anything. Um, kind of exciting. I like JavaScript and uh, I should probably say something like Go, but I like HTML. Like, <laughs> Go Rust, but no. HTML is just um, great because it's so like old and it's backward compatible and it's just like, it's got a history to it, which um, not many programming languages have that much. Great. Um, so what are your uh, three words that describe you best? Uh, I think... Um, fun. I like, love having fun. Um, and I'm laughing a lot now. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, fun, I think, um, inventive. I like to think that I'm inventive and like solving problems in slightly different ways than maybe I would. And um, another word, maybe family, like I'm a big family man. Like my kids and um, enjoy going home, playing with them and spending the time with them, not coding all the time. Who is Salvi? Manager or engineer? Oh, that's, that's tough because that's where, that's where I feel I am in my career at the moment. I went into, I was a coder, I'm just doing this for my whole life. And then I went into management and then discovered like the impact you can make on teams. And like if you have a bad manager, you know it. If you have a good manager, you like hopefully know it. Um, and then back into coding again. So I, I don't know, I'm in the middle. Um, I think I'm veering more towards management and leadership. 50, half and a half. Yeah, maybe 55% <laughs> leadership and then the other side coding. I would say like, you, you also have like this entrepreneurship business kind of like mindset as well. So I would say you yeah. have the triple. Okay, maybe, <laughs> triple yeah, yeah. Yeah. if I can, I'll take that. <laughs> um, so what is the most important advice anybody in the world has given you? Um, I think the most important advice is do what you love. Um, I used to, I did start an engineering, civil engineering degree. I was just doing it because it was like, oh, I want to be a civil engineer and build a bridge, but it wasn't like what I love to do. And then I discovered coding and been coding like on the side anyway. And it was just like, oh, it's the same. I can do career and life and just like make it the same thing. So just do, do what you love, otherwise what's the point? Thinking the most complicated situation or period of time in your whole life, what did you learn from that experience? Um, well, the most complicated thing work-wise that happened for me, I worked for a startup called Lanyard, um, and that was like super fun. I was there for like nine months, and then Eventbrite started to acquire us, and I was just like super stressed in that because we didn't know what was going on. It was changing day to day, and then I just kind of like calmed down, and then that just kind of made my life a lot better. It's like, okay, this is happening. I'm not in, char in charge of everything. Just like calm down and get on with it. Uh, tell me a joke. Tell me a joke. Oh, uh, Velcro, that's a rip-off. <laughs> Do you get it? I don't know that many, that much English. Okay. I, <laughs> I, can, I can dissect it, but it's probably not gonna, it's gonna completely lose it. Can you explain a joke is not a good yeah, joke? Yeah. So when you're not working, what are the three things that you enjoy most? Okay, so uh, I mentioned my kids and family. I like going to like, do fun days out and like being kind of that dad and run around and do that type of stuff. 
Um, I enjoy Arduino and like making code that does stuff, kind of going back to like Lego and feels like that. Um, and uh, I just enjoy kind of boring things like eating and <laughs> watching movies and you know. I enjoy a lot yeah. eating, it's not boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't enjoy hiking. Like everyone no. in San Francisco loves hiking and I don't like hiking. I like hiking. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like and not like about your daily routine? Um, so something I don't like about my daily routine is um, the commute. Um, like I actually live in New Jersey and have to commute into the state of New York. I don't live very far away, there's literally just a Hudson in the way. But you have to get like over the water or under the water. Um, so I don't like that. I literally, I bought an electric scooter recently, that helps, but um, <laughs> I know you got one too. <laughs> I'm one of those people, sorry. Um, so yeah, so that's something I don't like. Something I do like, I love the, or like autonomy. I can like come and go, if I need to go and do something, I can come and do that, or if I need to work late, I, I've just got a laptop and I can like do the work from the laptop. So I like that autonomy and being my own kind of time manager. Are you considering like move to the city, like to the Manhattan area or? No, Manhattan's too crazy. The, this is like a fantasy. Yeah. It's not gonna be. It's too, it's too, too, too much. Well, I live in New Jersey and you kind of get there and you're like, ah. It's yeah. just like relaxing. I love the craziness of the city, but I understand your point about like just relaxing. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, what is the best concert or life experience uh, that you've ever attended? So, this is probably not the well, the best one I've ever been to ever. I went to see Blur at the Brixton Academy, and this was like just kind of maybe. Maybe this is like 12 years ago now, and they were like just coming to the end of their touring, and they hadn't toured after that like extensively, and it was just amazing. Um, but at Eventbrite, we have a thing called the Talent Show, where people do kind of crazy stuff and show off their talents, and I, I do love that as well. Um, yeah, that's fun. Um, what are the things that you miss from London? Fish and fish and chips. Penny. <laughs> fish and chips. Like you can get fish and chips here, but the chips aren't right or the fish isn't right. There is actually a fish and chip shop in New York. And that is uh, that's good. What's but the it's name? Not... What's the name of that? Oh, it's called um, Salt and Battery. Salt and Battery, which is a good name. <laughs> but um, it's just not quite the same. Um, so I miss that. Cool. Um, how do you see yourself in five years from now? Five years from now, I think I will be much more on the management side, management track of work. Um, maybe director or CTO or VP. That's where I'd like to be. I completely um, see yourself fun. there. Okay, um, good. Well, <laughs> recommend me somewhere. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we finished the interview and I gave you $10 million. How could you invest that? Or um, use that money? How to use it? I would probably just keep it for myself um, and just have a lovely life and give, like, if I hear some, like, I'm in a cafe and I hear somebody, like, has, has a problem or has a financial problem, I just give them the money and just have, like, a pocket of money to, like, use for myself and maybe, like, but not like, not like buy a house or anything, but just like, just to live, live on and be this person who just kind of goes around and like... You can rent a house yeah. like, like the, for one year here, then for another year there. Yeah, or like you, know, you hear about these actors and they've got, they kind of overhear conversations and mm -hmm. give people money and like, I'd like to be that person. Okay, so this is the last one. Um, what is the funniest thing that has happened to you recently? You said like you're a very funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like fun. I'm not sure I'm actually funny myself. Um, things that have ha fun things that happened to me recently. Well, moving to New York, um, I kind of moved, moved here, didn't know anything, just kind of arrived. Me, and my wife, my two cats, and two kids, um, and that was kind of like a crazy experience. My wife got a job, and we were like, okay, we're just gonna go, and we just went, yeah. and that was kind of like. That was the funnest thing because it's like an adventure. You don't know where you don't know where you're gonna go, what you're gonna yeah. do. Or, I knew I had a job. That was fine. <laughs> but like, that's it. Yeah. So that's all. Yay! That's luck. <laughs> Yay! That's the end of the interview with Abby. I hope you really enjoyed the interview. What was your favorite part of the interview? Give us a comment on social. Depth in depth. If you want to support this program, please consider donating so we can keep producing more content like this one. Now, if you really want to dive deep on Albi's profile, you have a full interview, more than 20 minutes of full interview with him in the description below and in developersindev.com. See you in two weeks with a really cool interview with somebody also working in New York City for a really cool company. Who is it gonna be? I don't know, but 
give us a comment. Ciao!